Yo, what's up? It's Mix VJ Search finalist Anton. Remember the name, Anton? Because what I'm doing today is I'm interviewing the one and only two-time UAAP men's basketball champion, Peep the Merch, team captain, a three-point specialist. And Asistio turns around for three! Big game. Asistio will try again. Gets it to go! Yeah. So I've headed over to his place. I have a special challenge for him, so check it out. All right, so I'm here with the man, Anton Asisio. Thanks, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me in your, in your thank home. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that he, he actually just came from uh, May Sakit Nasha, so super appreciated that you're making the time and welcoming me here in your home. Were you, were you from Ateneo from the beginning? Yeah, since prep, actually. Uh, so just like me, lots of people, like me. It's also my dream to really, you know, make it in college and then play for you know, the dream school and make it to the team A. What was it like living the dream? Uh, at first it was hard because uh, I don't know if everyone knows but I didn't make it to team A right away. So I had to work my way to the top. So I guess that's what made living the dream uh, sweeter. Because I felt like I was already at my lowest point, but I was able to overcome it. So, so it's like the journey, yeah. the, the coming from the rock yeah. bottom. Because it's one thing to make it Team A, and it's another thing to be able to actually win and then back to back. If you can describe it in words, what's the feeling like of being able to win two championships back to back, graduating pa, you know, as a champion? For me, it's uh, surreal. Because I never even thought I would actually win a championship, more or less two pa back to back on my last playing year. So it feels so good to achieve something you've been wanting for so long. So we just talked about um, what it's like to you know be a champion and the dream and now it's time for him to feel the opposite. So what <laughs> we're gonna do today is I'm gonna challenge him to a game of horse. Um, we're not just gonna play a horse. Uh, then right. Winner win you win for pride. What's gonna happen is um, since I dance and you play basketball. We're gonna relate it to that. If I win, if I win the game of horse, we're gonna have to take a video of Anton, Anton Asistio, doing the lean with it oh. challenge. Simple enough, simple enough. But if he wins, it's just isn't gonna happen. He's gonna, we're gonna take a video of him blocking a layup. Simple as that, girl. Gary, are you ready? I'm ready. Ready? Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Alright, the reason why it's dark is because we're about to shoot the lights out. So how do you play horse? Costume change. When one player makes a shot during his turn, the other player then has to copy the same shot or else he'd be given a point or a letter added to his score. The first person to spell out the whole word horse will lose. But in this case, we just made it cat na lang para three letters. Anton Asis is gonna go first. Do you remember these two or three favorite um, teammates? Terry D and the Lord of the Rings. So you can see the two Anton that make it to the team. Ooh. Who was your Blue Eagle player You know that you idolized growing up? Me, see Kiefer. Kiefer Ravenna is hotter than the sun. Six out of six. Do you try to pattern your game after this? I try to, but it's hard. Oh. Let the record show I was winning at this point. Let's try from this rock. We show the rock. Bye. Anton was in Team A for two years, and then in your third year, got moved on to Team B. What was the feeling like, if you can put it into words, when you found out you were gonna move down to Team B? Heartbreaking. I was there. I was like, I had like one foot in the door. Not or two feet, because you were yeah. you're already oh, in yeah, the lineup. Two feet. Yeah. As I always say, I didn't really see it as a, as a setback. Uh -huh. I saw it as an opportunity. The coach told me that I'm going to get out of play. So instead of feeling bad, I just worked on it. There you go. Okay. He did this. He beat me. <laughs> Very slippers. Swish! <laughs> So we're, we're one all. What is the mindset that you needed to have for you to not settle and really reach for Team A? It was my fighting spirit lang talaga and my pride, di ba? Kasi knowing that I already made it, kaya ko pala. Kaya mo na ba? Ooh, now he's warmed up. Just to get handed. Oh, ah! 
Could you say that in this situation? The right amount of pride is actually good. Yeah, it is good. That's what basically that's what pushed me. Yes. Money. That's good. After supposedly making it and achieving the dream, okay. What makes you keep on playing? The only thing I've been wanting to do since I was a kid was to play basketball. I need okay. to have another goal, a higher goal. I suck. Sounds for you. Oh, yes. Ice in my veins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm still alive. Who yeah, would you think this after so many yeah, shots? This Anton's still standing. Okay, I don't I'm gonna finish this stunt. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> you can, that's low. <laughs> and as promised, he's gonna he's gonna try to block me. Mm. <laughs> All right, so we're back after that very intense game of horse turned cat. So just a few last few questions. If you didn't have basketball, if you weren't playing basketball, what do you think you'd be doing? I would probably be playing a different sport. <laughs> it's not just gonna teach you lessons like about the sport, but like about life also. Do you have another sport in mind? Golf. Golf, really? Golf, yeah, because I started playing recently. Lang. What would be your advice to people who were in your situation, who are trying to chase their dream, but then the whole world is telling them that you can't do Don't listen to the noise. If you think well, what people are saying doesn't help you or like inspire you, you don't have to listen to it. Don't let others, uh, don't allow others to tell you what you can, what you can do. Alright, so last question. What's next for the team captain of the Blue Eagles? Uh, I'm gonna pursue my uh, my goal of being a professional basketball player. That's that's my main goal. Right? Thank you. Thank you so much for your time and for the game. Thank you also. I that enjoyed was fun. It. That was fun. Alright, peace! A so shout out. Thank you to the cameraman slash communicator. It was all me! <laughs>